Hey guys, Vine here, and today we are going to review the LEGO set Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker. This set came out in, I believe, 2018 or early 2019, and it retailed for $30. So without further ado, let's take a look at All the right, So the first figure up is Batman, and I am not a fan of this figure. Usually I like Batman figures, but this one... Just kind of looks a bit too generic for my taste. I don't know what it is. Um, first of all, they should have given him dual molded legs because, um, now that his dual molded legs is basically standard, and I don't know why. I mean, Spider Man has dual molded legs, so I don't know why they didn't give Batman dual molded legs. I he does have some printed on the back, which is basically the same print on the front. I do like his utility belt though. And what really gets me. About this figure that I don't like is the face. Now, you may say, Vine, the face looks fine. Stop whining. But basically, if you don't know, um, ever since the egg Egghead Mech Food Fight set, I think it's called, from the Lego Batman movie, whenever Lego prints a flesh face print onto a non-flesh colored head, like basically here, like you can see the head's black, but they printed flesh skin colored face print on it, basically... The flesh skin color is way too bright, and it's not the right color. This happens with any skin color for a Lego figure. Like, for example, the Lady Iron Dragon minifigure from the Lego Ninjago movie had this exact same problem. And, like, he does have a face right here, an alternate happy expression, which I do think looks a bit better. But he's Batman, so he's got to be angry. And he's one of my favorite figures actually the Joker and if you don't know this is actually based off his appearance from the Lego DC super villains video game and I did think they did a pretty good job what I, although the only problem is I think in that game he had printed on his arms and they didn't give it to him but like I didn't really expect them to do that since this is only a $30 set um he does have the vest the purple vest which I think looks really cool and also, he has the face from that one junior set, his angry face, but if you want, you can also give him the classic Lego Joker face, but I always preferred this one because it only comes out, comes on a few Jokers. Actually, I think this is the, one of the only two Jokers that it comes on. The, the other one is, I think, from like a junior set. Of course, he does have this stud shooter, which he can shoot at, which I don't think really, um, fits the character of the Joker that well. I feel like they should have given him, like, a bang gun or something. Like they did with the other LEGO DC Super Heroes Batman set. But I do think this figure looks pretty good. The torso looks really nice. He does have to put it on the back. Which, But the only thing I don't like is, besides the arm print, is that he doesn't really have printed on the legs. Which I don't think he did in the game, but I feel like LEGO should have gone above and beyond. And he doesn't have his water squirt and flower. What's up with that? Anyways. Really now for the main attraction of this set, the Batmobile, and honestly, this looks really good, aside from the bottom, which looks bad on the bottom, because I feel like they should have put something to cover this, this, and that up, but honestly, it looks pretty good. Um, I do like the driver's seat, where you just flip this up. Usually, with some Lego sets, you have to, like, take it off, which I find annoying, but you just do like so. You can't fit Batman in there, but I'm not going to put him in there, because I'm... Using my hand to review the set and my hand to record the camera, so yeah, it's kind of hard to. But basically, I do like how they built a chair. Usually, they just like make the character sit on some studs, which doesn't look that great. I do think the inside of the Batmobile looks really good. Aside from this, I feel like they could have covered that up and these studs up. And I also do really like how they put like these I don't know what you call them engines or missiles. But what I don't like is that they use stud shooters, and from my Joker, you can tell I'm not really a stud shooter person. I do think stud shooters are good in battle packs for like the Star Wars, but only battle packs for like the Star Wars. I don't feel like they fit well in actual sets. Of course, you can rotate this if you even count this as rotating, and of course it does shoot, which I'm not going to shoot because I showed you already with the Joker. And I do like when you push this, the... It kind of gives the illusion that the Batmobile is going super fast and it has a flame. And with that flame are some gun pieces, which I think look really cool. Honestly, those guns would have been a more accurate representation of Joker's gun than the stud shooter. And I also do like how they put the little bat accessory piece on the front. And I like how the wheels have the little Batman symbol on them. I think that's kind of cute and cool. 
Um, and there was a nice engine piece up there. But basically, this kinda does look like Tim Burton's um Batmobile from the Batman 1989 movie, which is weird because that Batmobile came out right after this. Actually, is the Batmobile in 1989 set even out yet? At the time of recording, I don't think it's out yet. But basically, it's kind of weird because that set is going to come right after this one. Or it already came after this one. So this does look like a smaller version of the 1989 Batmobile. Even though this has nothing to do with Batman 1989 at all. I just thought, like, the whole shape and structure of the set feels like Tim Burton's Batmobile. So, the Batmobile isn't perfect. Like I said, they should have covered that up because... They covered this up, which I love how they covered this up. I think this looks really cool. And the front has, like, some... I don't know what you call those. Engine pieces? I think... I don't know what you really call those. But, yeah, if you're basically wondering how the set moves, boom. You got two gears down there. And then when you move those, the fire kind of, like, goes. Same with here, except it's not as complex. Because this one's more complex because you need to move that fire. This one's just moving wheels. And yeah, so basically that's it for the set. Um, I do really like it, but again, it's not perfect. I feel like they could have done a bit better by covering this up. I'll probably like get some black slow pieces like this or pieces to cover this up. Cause honestly, this is kind of really jarring. Um, but yeah. So anyways. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I am thinking of reviewing more LEGO Batman sets. So if you want to see that, please share this video with family and friends, like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.